Well, Lauren jumps into her first dress. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Wow. You like it? So, what was that about? My best friend Laura just called, and you know, we're both doing a competition, and we're four weeks out, which is pretty close to show. We just did check ins with our coach, we have the same coach, and you know, she wasn't as tight as she was last prep. She's worried that she's not gonna be ready for show. Our coach is worried because, you know, how much it takes to get ready. As it stands, she's already doing like an hour and a half of cardio. So for four weeks out, you know, she could go as high as like two to three hours of cardio every day until the show. She's really low on carbs already. You know, you drop, you start to drop carbs to get, to cut for a show. So like right now, I'm, last week I cut my carbs a little bit, this week I'm cutting carbs, but I'm still eating carbs at almost every meal. She's not eating any carbs. She's eating veggies and protein. So her energy's already down. She's feeling discouraged. She was calling me, you know, upset. I need a hug, I need a call. So we're just talking through it together. You know, we signed up for this show together. We're best friends. We're through this thick and thin. You know, I, I wanted to do it with her for fun. Um, so is, yeah. she strugg is she struggling? Is she thinking about not doing it? I mean, she's struggling, you know, she, she's, this is, she's done several shows already. She did a Worlds last year, which I went to go support her. I was not competing. She was she did really really well, but she's had to go up against a lot of girls. So it's a different show. It's a different competition. She also trained uh, a lot longer for it, and it was during like the spring and summer months that she was training for. So it was like an, an August show. So it's a lot easier to like train, get active, eat your meals right during the when it's warm. It's, oh, because she's from New England. She's, win she's winter she's snow. New York, Long Island, New York. There's snow. It's cold. Like it's hard to get motivated. Anyway, so it's a different type of prep, it's a different type of show. Um, it is a smaller show that we're doing, local here in LA, so she'll fly out here. She started booked book your ticket. Um, what do you want? Go away, Her mom is doing an interview situation right now. So I just wanted to cheer her spirits, you know, like the last show I was supposed to do with her, I kind of cut out in the middle of it because I just didn't feel like I was ready. I was putting a lot of pressure on myself to look perfect. I wanted to place really, really well on top and high. And I didn't think I had what it takes to get ready in time for the show. So I cut myself out. And obviously I still went to her and supported her and she did great. But yeah, like now she's at the breaking point. Like, does she quit? Does she continue? She's gonna have to push herself very hard. She's done worse. She's trained harder for previous shows, but it's like, you know, do you really wanna put your body through that? And if you put your body through all of that, she can do it, she can hang, she can handle for four weeks. You gotta be careful, because after show, if you don't, you know, there's the reverse dieting. some type of diet, like a reverse diet or something careful, your body can develop some metabolic damage, which is what our coach is currently worried about. He just wants to make sure, he knows she'll push herself to the absolute limits, because she has that drive, she has that dedication that's like, un, it's more than I've ever seen someone. I have drive and dedication, but at least my body usually responds pretty well to what I do. I can usually get away with cheats all the way up to like four or five weeks out. She hasn't cheated during her entire prep. She does cardio in the morning and at night. She works a, two jobs. Um, like she just is like a nut. She's really crazy, but she's really, you know, driven and she wants to succeed and she wants to do well. And, and so I was just talking to her and I'm like, listen, we're doing this. We're doing this together. I've got to do it together. I'm in it with you for better or for worse. As friends, we're both gonna support each other. Made some progress. How little or most this is, it doesn't matter. We're, d we're bringing our best. So I just told her, you gotta be careful. I'm. You have to promise me that you're gonna take care of your body after the show, because that's what I'm mostly concerned about. You gotta live with your body. And if you damage it, you know, that's something you have to live with a lot longer than one day stepping on stage. So listen, you promise me, if you do this, you're gonna take care of yourself afterwards, then you can do it, but I want you to Know that I support you either way, and I don't care about placements as much. I care about my best friend. So that's basically what we just talked about. I really don't want to do it without her. I really just don't. Hey guys, so I am nine, 10 days out from my WBFF Pro Show next weekend, and I don't have a gown. So I contacted a couple companies here in LA that have 
uh, custom gowns, and Stella got back to me, so I'm going to the showroom today to try some gowns, see what might fit, and look amazing, and I'm super excited, so let's go. And she already found it. Wow. Well, Lauren jumps into her first dress. You like it? Oh, that's a cool detail. That's like a pop. I kind of like that. Kind of hides your butt a little bit, but it's, that makes yeah, a difference. You don't have to do it. You don't really have to do it. Is it your first time wearing something like this? Yes. All right, so let me see them. So this is with a bodysuit, but obviously. So this is dress number four. It actually covers more than I thought it would. And it, and it has like a mesh yeah. lining. Like it doesn't, I don't look naked. Yeah, sure. So Lauren has to come out to the front of the store to see the true color of the dress. It is very pink. So this is the same dress, just in pink. I think that bottom detail where it's black. I think the length on the red one is a little bit better on me. Yeah. All right. It's really long. It's kind of a lot, right? Yeah. I'm not feeling it, right? You're not feeling it? It's a beautiful like, material, but Just not my it, Nope. So this is dress, I don't know, number 10. 10? But here's Lauren in this. I'm not digging the back. It just kind of squares off her gonna, butt. Yeah, it doesn't shape me right. It's pretty though. Very pretty. This is dress number seven, I think, at this like, point. It's like gum green. Like, no. I like my heart, huh? It is very different, and I like it a lot. It's different. Let me see your back. back. So walk away that way a little bit. Right there, stop. Give me your back pose. Look at that muscle definition. So the floral's out. The floral's out. I wanted bright color for you it's, to begin with. The shape is amazing. It's easier to walk in. I'm kind of obsessed with these dresses. Oh my god. You like it? I like it. So Lauren is really considering that dress. Oh, I caught it. Until I decide what I'm gonna do. 
Welcome to the Kagan household. Lauren standing around in her underwear, waiting for her coach to say whether or not she can eat or I don't even know. What are you waiting for? What are you like four days out from the show? All right, go ahead. So this is morning check-in for Nate. Nate, how does she look? Can she has a cheat meal? That was, uh, for what? Um, I'm just doing check-ins with my coach, closing check-ins for stage, um, competing on Saturday, today is Thursday, so we gotta just fine-tune the body if it needs to be. And if it doesn't, then I just chill, so we'll see what it says.